potatoes julienne let's take your potato down to the brick for better learning cut the ends first and this is mostly done for educational purposes we don't want this much a waste but for practicing let's take it down to this so we want to even out all sides of the potatoes so it's going to be easier to work with that way it gives a nice stability Watch your stand, watch how you stand. If you stand like this, you're gonna give your knife a, a degree on this side. If you stand like this, you're gonna give again your, your knife another angle, and that's gonna fit your cut. So watch your stand, how you're gonna cut. And now you're gonna use your knife, guiding hand in there, cut. The standard is two inches or three quarters of a, two inches and a quarter. And right there, you have your potato julienne. Just make sure always you can hold your slice. Make sure that it's even all the way through. Let's do it one more time. Watch your stance. And of course, remember, you need to have a sharp knife. If you do not have a sharp knife, this is not going to happen. Also make sure your cutting board is not wobbly, that it doesn't have a curve or, or a curve or is not warped. And that is, that is a very long julienne, the standard julienne is 20 and a half inches. It will be right there. And the beautiful thing about the julienne is once your julienne is done, from your julienne comes your brunoise. And another way to do your brunoise so you can take your perfectly cut julienne, even, even the ends, and try not to use a white cutting board to do this because you will not be able to see what you're doing there. If you're starting, don't stack them up. Just take one of them and get your knife in there to get the proper Brunoise. So from the Julienne comes the Brunoise.